We will talk to Robert Griffin III. Jabbar Gaffney has his number, number 10, that he wore at Baylor. Now, this is what I think Robert Griffin should do. Can he go, first of all, you go three. That's your number. But can you put RG, can you go initials in the NFL? I, I don't think you can. But could you do R. Griffin and then have three as his number? Let's ask Robert Griffin III. Have you thought about your uh, your jersey number for the NFL? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I hope to be able to wear number 10. Uh, you know, and a lot of people have said if I don't get 10 that I should wear three. Uh, but, you know, we already got it passed uh, through the NFL that I'll be able to wear uh, the Roman numeral three on, on the back of my jersey. So, oh, so how's that going? It'll be Robert Griffin the third, and then it'll, it'll say, then you'll have number 10? Yes, sir. Wait, doesn't Gaffney have 10? Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. If, if I can't get 10, then I'll, I'll, I'll probably switch my number. Uh, don't know what number I'll switch it to, but um, – uh, either that or pay a bunch of money to get number 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, funny how that, uh, it could cost you like a case of beer or it could cost you, uh, you know, a Rolex or something. Yeah, I, I, I'll give him the Rolex if, if he was willing to give up the number. <laughs> but I'm thinking, R, you're not allowed to do initials. You couldn't do RG and then have the number three. Um, no, I don't think so. As far as like uh, just R period, G period? Yeah. No, I don't think I can do that. That, I mean... Well, you know, there's an Ocho Cinco, but, uh, you know, there's no telling uh, what you can do in the league, but I'm not going to make it that complicated. I'm probably just going to keep what I had in college and, and go from there. I was also looking, uh, you know, you sent me your uh, shoes you used at the Combine, and I was thinking, have you're working with Adidas. Can't you do RG and then have the three stripes? Mm-hmm. Can you do that? Have you thought about doing that? Yeah, we have. Uh, that's, you know, that's part of the one of the reasons that it was a great match. Um, Adidas has three stripes, and... uh I'm Robert Griffin III, so they'll probably do a bunch of different things uh, with that, uh, you know, aside from the fact that, you know, I think it's uh, one of the better brands out there, if not the best. How much fun are you having this week? Oh, I'm mean, having a lot of fun. Um, you want to you wanna live in the moment and not let the moment live you, and, and that's kind of how I'm taking this whole process. So I'm not going to get burnt out. I'll have fun, know that this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and uh, go from there. I was surprised when uh, I, I'm glad you attacked this, but I was surprised that it came out when you have an unnamed source, a scout who's saying what he said about you being selfish and not nice to people. But I, I'm still not sure exactly what he meant. Is it football related or personality related that he's talking about here in this? Have you found out anything with this? No, I haven't found out anything. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things that it's hard to fight uh, with words because, you know, everybody has words. Everybody has opinions. You just have to do uh, do it with your actions. And, and, you know, people that know me know who I am. And uh, I don't know I don't, how many nice football players are there on the field uh, or anything like that. But um, well, you know, Is, is I, being I, a selfish football player bad? Uh I don't. I have no idea. It's just the word that kind of throws everybody off. Kind of throws me off. You can be a determined. You can be a focused football player. But when they say if you're a selfish football player, it's kind of, it's kind of iffy. You, you, you know, I never want to consider myself or, or look at myself as a selfish guy. And everybody is looking at you because before they weren't. You know, you're a Baylor quarterback. Nice little story. Now all of a sudden, Heisman Trophy winner, second pick overall, household name. It, it's going to change you in some ways. It can't help but change you a little bit. Uh, you know, people say money and fame change people, but uh, it's not that they change people. It's how, how people have to uh, adapt to that new lifestyle. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm a household name now, and I'll be the number two pick in the draft, but I can't let that change me. I can't let my lifestyle change who I am and the fundamentals of, of what makes me me. So, uh, you got to help and, and rely on the people in your inner circle to kind of keep you grounded. And, uh, you know, my parents and my fiance and all my friends around me have been able to do that. Uh, you know, it, it hasn't been a problem to make sure I stay who I am. He's Robert Griffin the third, the uh, former Baylor quarterback joining us, Dan Patrick's show. You expect to start for the Redskins week one? Um, you know, that's up to the coaches. Uh, no, but you do know. you? <laughs> I would love to. I'd love to be the starting quarterback of the Washington Redskins week one. But you expect to? Um, I expect greatness out of myself. I expect greatness out of my, my team. So, yeah, I expect to be the starting quarterback. When did you start diving into the playbook? Um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to get the playbook yet. 
uh, with the coaches. I was doing the evaluation process, so I know a little bit about the formations. Oh, so officially they can't give you the playbook? No, they can't give me the playbook until I get drafted on Thursday. So it's it's a it's a pretty tough process because you think you know where you're going, but you still can't you know get ahead of the game or get ahead of the curve with those types of things. Was there any moment where you thought that the Colts were going to take you? Um, you know, I, I like to believe uh, that, I, that that there was. Maybe they never had a uh, you know a plan to draft me in the first place, but. I kept my eyes open, and I didn't want to shut anything out. So, you know, you keep the world as big as you possibly can so that when it does narrow down, uh, you can give it your all to that one person or that one team or organization or fan base that truly believes in you, and it looks like that's Washington. Do you uh, want to face the Colts? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's no personal vendetta against anyone. Uh, they felt that the other guy was a better fit for them, so – uh, I have to respect that, and I do respect that. Um, you know, I'm just glad that there's a team out there that wants me for who I am. You know what? If you ask me the question, if I was you, go ahead. You ask me the question. Uh, do you want to play the Colts? Hell yes, I do, man. <laughs> I want to show those guys. I want to. I'm going to show Jim Irsay. You know what? You missed out. Look at what you could have had. Yeah, selfish. How about this? I'm selfish because I put up these big numbers on you. What do you think? Um, you know, I think that that's probably what everybody feels, uh, how I feel. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it's nothing. I've, I've, I made no uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. I wanted to be the number one quarterback, and I ended up being the number one quarterback for the Washington Redskins. Well, there you go. And uh, you, you got these endorsements coming in, EA Sports. You got Adidas. You got now Subway. You got your own sandwich. What, what, what do we have here? Uh, you know, the the Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken Sandwich. Um you know, it's kind of bringing me back to my roots uh, in Texas with the barbecue and things like that. Uh, you know, the funny thing is they also made, uh, you know, a statue of me uh, made out of the Smokehouse Barbecue Chicken Sandwich. Uh, it's pretty funny, pretty cool. Uh, and um, it, it's definitely more than six grams of fat, uh, which the sandwich does have. But this is a lot of this is a whole lot of sandwich. But you don't want to say it's a bust. You you, no. you never want to use that word with a draft pick. So it's a statue. Mm -hmm. It's not a bust. No, it, it's it's definitely a statue. You know, after our qualitative analysis of the situation, <laughs> we decided that we couldn't we couldn't say that, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll make sure it's it's looked at as a statue or a sculpture. Uh, and we'll send you a picture of it. Oh, uh, good. So yeah. Post it. Yeah, we'll put it up on the website. Uh, the suit for Thursday. Mm -hmm. Pay tribute to Baylor. Um, no tribute to Baylor. Um, you know, it's a, it's a new time, a new chapter. Uh, you know, I'll always support Baylor football, Baylor uh, University, in all of its sports. Uh, but you know, I went with more of a, you know, just a, a non Baylor themed suit. Because um, I'll always be a Baylor Bear, and they know that. Is it going to have uh, red and gold? Well, have red skin colors in the time? Uh, trying to stay away from that as well. Trying to respect. Oh, trying okay. to respect the process. <laughs> uh, I got to respect the process and, and wait till I get drafted. <laughs> uh, are you going to hug the commissioner? Do you give him dap? High five? Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just pick him up and, uh, and take him with me. The draft's over, you know. No, but, um, just it, lift him up like he's a, a statue and take him off stage. I think it would be nice. Yeah, that, that's definitely something that we can do. I might do the robot as I'm walking towards him or something. We'll see what happens. Bring him a Subway sandwich. Just say, Kamish, you look like you're hungry. Uh, you got a long night here. I brought you a Subway. <laughs> Oh man, no, I can't. I probably, can't, probably can't bring a subway sandwich up there, but he might. I might have to wipe some tears off of my face from uh, all the emotion that I'll have. Well, uh, I'll see you later on tonight. But good luck with uh, all of this and the process. Thanks for joining us, Robert. Oh no, thanks for having me on. All right, Robert Griffin the third, Baylor quarterback. Got to get number ten from Jabbar Gaffney. It's probably going to cost him a little bit.